Okay, the, um, the Concept Volt, as we showed in 2007, uh, was a great looking car. It had the uh, fundamental principles of the E-Flex and the powertrain, but we didn't really have the opportunity to put that vehicle in the tunnel, in the wind tunnel, to verify its performance. So, subsequently, when we de were developing the production vehicle, in order to ensure this ability, ability to drive 40 miles on electricity alone, we had to spend a lot of time in the wind tunnel to improve the shape of the car, to ensure that it delivered on that promise of 40 miles. So uh, the front end of the car became quite a bit rounder, uh, all in an effort to keep the air attached to the surface of the car, because air that stays attached to a surface is, is smooth air. I think, I think people will notice a difference between the two, but I think they'll still recognize it as a Volt. I think they'll still recognize it as a Chevy. Uh, it's still a very sporty car, very efficient, very compact and um, I think people are still going to like it. Yeah, the the uh, passenger compartment of the production car is a lot more accommodating than what you would have uh, experienced in the show car. And that's for a couple of reasons. I mean, uh, again, show cars are an idealized vision of where we want to go with a vehicle. And um, when you apply production criteria to the car, in other words, structural sections for the rail, called the rail and the header below the windshield, uh, for rollover protection, uh, front end crush and so forth, the cabins tend to grow a bit, but having said that, it's still a very efficient, compact, uh, tight roof on the car. It looks very sporty, and I think people are going to like it. Yeah, I mean, we've got a, um, an infotainment center, I guess you would call it, a, uh, a touch-sensitive LCD screen, which will give you nav and uh, some of your uh, uh, electric drive information. And beneath it, we have all capacitive touch-sensitive touch buttons on the center stack controls got an LCD display for a gauge cluster. Very technical, very modern, uh, and I think people who are used to this level of modernity in their uh, portable handheld devices are really going to appreciate the Volt. And when I talked about the increase in efficiency, six or seven miles of additional range, that was not six or seven miles over and above the show car. The show car we had estimated at 40 miles, but when we actually stuck that body in the tunnel, it was not delivering a drag coefficient that would have been consistent with 40 miles, so we needed to remove these 120 aerodynamic counts to ensure that the car would confidently reach 40 miles of range. So the target is still 40 miles. Yeah, I can tell you, I mean, it, it, is, it is a hatch. It's not a conventional trunk on the back of the car. And, um, you know, the lip spoiler that we put on the car and the execution of the side view mirror, when you're looking for drag on the car, you have to look everywhere and leave no stone unturned when you, when, in, in the interest of finding aerodynamic efficiency. First, the most uh, obvious effect is packaging that battery within the car, or in this case underneath the car. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly large piece. It's about five feet long, weighs 180 kilograms or 400 pounds. And uh, you need to package that in the car without displacing occupants, without uh, taking away convenience features or storage features or compromising occupant safety. Um, so I'm happy to say we were able to package that battery in the car with our collaboration with engineering. So that to the point where you sit in the car, and the first question people ask is, where's the battery? You don't even see it. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah, actually, no, we have picked out the colors. Lots of, lots of good colors. Uh, I will say it is available in black, and it looks fantastic in black, but uh, I won't tell you what the other colors are. The, the show car was intended to be an expressive, almost a pony car, an electric pony car. Uh, and I think that resonated with people, the idea that this car, uh, an efficient vehicle, doesn't need to have an apologetic aesthetic. It doesn't look, need to look like uh, the analogy I make is the elephant on roller skates, little tiny wheels and an over-bodied, uh, over-proportioned body. Uh, the car has a really athletic stance. I think that's the most important part of any car, is getting the stance right, making the car look like it's well-planted on the road, and the Volt has that.